raised on a farm. <laughs> we had chickens and pigs and cows and sheep and everything. But down here, I've been lost. Now they've taken them all away from here up to the... What's that name of that place up above here a little ways? The town. Commences with B. Blue Hill. It's Blue Hill Cemetery. I think the name of it is. Uh, not too far. I guess about maybe 20 miles from here. A little town there, a little place. You know where it's at, that place. But I was really surprised when I heard they were getting rid of the cemetery over here. We're going to put in buildings or something over there. Oh, well, I know people have been very good to me, you know, Ron. Well, they've seen my condition. I guess that's what they're sorry for me. But it's real, my condition is. It's not put on, that's for sure. Boy, if I could only walk, if I could only get out drive my car, I'd get another car. Yeah, and my son, if he'd only better to me. After I bought him, that car's got a nice car. I bought it myself just a short time ago. I don't know, these kids. I'm telling you, what you do for him? He's my grandson, but I raised him from two years old. And my husband always told me, he says, Mama, Someday you're going to be sorry. That was a car, huh? Was that that? Oh, boy. He said, some days you're going to be sorry. You see how it happens, things? I don't see him very often. And he just got the car. I didn't pay for all of it. I gave him $400. Pretty good. His boss knows it. Well, he's not working for that outfit now. He's changed. He's going back on his old job, hauling sand. No, not hauling sand. He's working in the office, that's right. He took over the office job. Yeah, his boss told me that on the phone. But you know, he should help me more. He's all I got. He's the one that brought me up here. And then put me here by myself among strangers. It's terrible, you stop and think of it. I've been without so much when I first came up here. And, uh, it's just, uh, you know, it's, uh, that's what's half the, my trouble is from him not being home with me. It didn't cost him nothing to stay here. Every time he need money, it always come, Mom, can I have this, can I have that? But he never pays back. Too good, too easy, it's what everybody tells me. I quit now. I quit. Now, he's got the office job. I'm going after him. I'm going after him good, too. If I have to go in a, in a different way, he's going to pay that money. He's, in the, he's got the office job now, and he makes good money anyway. And he has no kids. He has not married. He never get married, he says. He was married once. They're divorced. And, uh, well, she tried to take him for the kid, but she didn't. They went to court with somebody else's kid. But she's nothing but a tramp in the first place. I told him that. He wouldn't listen to me. I says, I, I know what she is. I said, Richard, please, listen to me. No, he wouldn't listen. He knew all, he knew everything. Big shot. But he soon found out. Now that's all over with. I've been through so much, I don't know how I'm staying alive. Really, I have, for my age. If you're young, it's different, but I've always said, I'm never going to grow old. I've always had that. And people that I tell how old I am, they don't believe me. Because people my age as a rule don't get around like I do. Skippy's been dead quite a while, two, three years, you know. Yeah, I don't want to think about it. He was so, everybody liked that dog around here. 
You know, you miss your pets just like you do any of the family. And I don't know what happened to this last little kitty he was here. Now all the cats have gone. There's no cats around her, no animals, no nothing. I miss that little black kitten so much. It was wonderful. And all of a sudden, boom, no animals around. Somebody in the neighborhood or something is doing away with them. <laughs>